Hey guys, I am about to start the stencil wall. It's gonna be this wall that you see behind me. If you see me looking off to the side, it's the monitor to make sure that you guys can see this. Uh, it is going to be this DIY mud cloth wall that I saw uh, on Mr. Kate's channel. And I am going to attempt to do the same thing here. I hope that it works out. Watch and see how it goes. So this is how the room looks like before. I'm really not a fan of this gray color that the apartment came with, so I'm really excited to change that. Also, it's a very dark room. Do not be fooled by the high ISO I'm using to make it look brighter. I am really looking forward to putting that accent wall on and painting the other walls white. Here we went in with this color that's called Raindrop by Sherwin Williams. It's really pretty and it's a super calming blue. I really enjoyed this. So we just finished painting this wall and the rest of the walls are going to be white. We're going to get on that. But once this dries, I'm going to start doing the mud cloth stencil. Okay, so it is day two of this DIY that I'm trying to do and I ordered a bunch of stuff from Amazon that's supposed to get here today so I can't really start on this wall until I have those things because I need like the special plays and the laser level yada yada but I did finish painting yesterday and everything so far is probably gonna need a second coat with the white so I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna do the second coat and then touch up any like spots and hopefully wait for uh, the rest of the items to get here. So I'm going in and touching up those spots I was talking about. There's lots of places where it just need a little bit of a second coat and I went in with this really tiny trim brush I got off Amazon which was so perfect for this part of the wall where both of the colors meet each other. I also went up over where technically uh, molding would be. It was super patchy and just needed a second coat. I'm actually going to put some peel and stick crown molding here but until I do that I just wanted to make sure that, that that was covered up. Okay, so everything came in from Amazon. Thank goodness it didn't come in at like 9 o'clock at night. And these are all the items that I need. So right here we have our acrylic glaze that I'm going to be using. And then this is going to be a darker color that you guys will see. I'm going to mix these two together to, in this here to create this kind of like translucent effect and give the wall this kind of um, woven look that it's supposed to have. So hopefully that ends up being okay. All right, I'm gonna start mixing all this together and then using this really wide brush to mix it all and create the strokes. Let's do it. So this called for one part glaze and one part paint. And I'm trying to mix that together really, really, really well. And then I went in and started the strokes. Honestly, it looks like I'm not doing anything. So I got a little closer so you could see that I was making actual strokes. Okay, so I did the first few strokes and I think I need to play around with it a little bit more to get that woven look because right now it just looks kind of patchy and like splashed random everywhere. Take a look. So I was really scared at this point that I'd messed up the whole thing and I was thinking the whole thing was going to be a disaster. I was really, really nervous because the short strokes just don't look good. So then I started going in and just adding more and more and more as much as I could and it turned out like this which I was so much more happy with. This looked way better, way more random, way more like fabric. So I have drawn out what is gonna be on the wall. This is what I'm thinking. My drawing's a bit messy and a bit skewed, but I'm gonna be using a laser level so that it doesn't come out so slanted on the actual wall. And let's get to it. So I went in with a laser level, if you can see that faint red line there, and just very, very carefully with one of those giant carpenter's pencils, drawing all the lines. And then I went in with the white paint and that really tiny trim brush I told you guys about. So I'm just gonna start making these lines, and this is really when it comes to life. I was nervous, but this was also my favorite part. So we're just gonna speed it up, and you guys can see how you know it started to turn out. Thank you. 
this is how the finished product looks and I'm very very happy with it that two-tone turned out awesome I love how large the scale is so much better that's what it looked like before and it just was not wow but now we're putting in our new sofa and I cannot wait to finish the rest of this room it's all gonna come together and look so great I'm gonna be showing you guys every step of the way